Thanks for having me. First of all, I feel extremely privileged to be able to um, uh, collaborate with three great professors, Alexander Brown, Lauren Cohen, and Chris Malloy. Um, in the paper we co-authored, we investigated the welfare effect associated with life insurance termination and uh, life insurance secondary sale. So um, each year in the United States, um, life insurance policies with a combined face value of over two trillion US dollars are terminated. Um, however, it is little known to the uh, general public that life insurance policies are a valuable asset which can be monetized through secondary sale in the life settlement market. Um, and the value associated with life insurance policies are not, unfortunately not, um, unfortunately not realized um, enough. So uh, in this paper, we attempt to find a solution to um, rectify this market inefficiency and to um, try to help policyholders to regain the value that is lost um, through termination of life insurance policies. We have found that a, a competitive and prevailing secondary market of um, insurance will have the effect of increasing the surplus of policyholders and to uh, maximize the um, utilities of policies and most importantly it has the effect of maximizing the utilitarian social welfare. Um, whereas a um, market, a secondary market of life insurance where only um, life insurance companies are the sole buyer, the um, welfare is not um, maximized, the, um, um, the market efficiency is not, is not optimized and there could be a dead weight loss. Right, so we suggest in our paper that um, we should adopt a mandated secondary sale treatment for all the policies that are to be uh, disposed of by policyholders. Um, in this way, we can expand the secondary market of life insurance um, and to make it more, more uh, prevailing, to make it more reachable to the general public. We also encourage um, policyholders to adapt to this new trend of market by, for example, adjusting their premiums, uh, premium setting schemes. And most importantly, um, we suggest in our paper that um, insurance companies should um, stop using aggressive lapse assumptions, um, which is um, a very dangerous strategy because it makes uh, life insurance companies extremely vulnerable to unanticipated um, insurance persistency.